good evening all of you now let's discuss try this page 23 okay take a regular hexagon okay and in figure you can see a regular hexagon here okay regular hexagon means what all sides will be equal and all angles will be equal hexagon means six side okay now what is the sum of measures of its exterior angles x y z p q r okay here you can see some exterior angles x y z p q r and you need to find the sum of measures of its exterior angle so you know that sum of measures of exterior angle of any polygon is equal to what 360 degree so hexagon means what it's a polygon okay so its sum of exterior angle will be what 360 degree okay so you can tell that measure of angle x plus measure of angle y plus measure of angle z plus measure of angle p plus measure of angle q plus measure of angle r okay so that you got the sum of all exterior angle that will be equal to what 360 degree okay answer for the first question is 360 degree okay second question is that is x equals y equals z equals p equals q equals r you are asked that is all exterior angles equal okay you are asked that whether x equals y equals that means what whether all the exterior angles are equal or not in this case you can say that exterior angles are equal why if you are observing here you can see that okay suppose i am taking this side first thing is that you can see that since it's a regular hexagon okay this is a regular hexagon regular hexagon means what regular hexagon means all angles will be equal okay all angles and all sides will be equal so all angles are equal you can see here that all angles are equal that is all angles are a so all angles are equal so since interior angles are all equal you can tell that exterior angles will be also equal isn't it in all the cases it's a okay since the interior angles are all equal you can tell that the exterior angles will be also equal why if you are drawing the interior angle means here you can see that how you are actually getting this exterior angle exterior angle you are actually getting if you are subtracting interior angle from 180 degree then you will get the exterior angle okay so in order to get the exterior angle x you need to just subtract a from 180 degree why because this a and x forms a linear pair okay a and x forms a linear pair linear pair means what measure of angle a plus measure of angle x will be equal to 180 degree isn't it so uh, in order to get the measure of angle x what you have to do you have to just subtract a from 180 degree then you will get x similarly to get y you need to just subtract a from uh, 180 degree why because here also angle is a similarly to get z same way okay for getting z also you need to subtract this a from 180 degree for p also a from 180 degree q also a from 180 degree that means what you can say you can say that all the angles are equal all the exterior angles are equal or you can say x equals y equals z equals p equals q equals r okay since all the interior angles are equal you can say that exterior angles will be also equal since they form a linear pair okay or their sum is 180 degree okay and so answer for this is yes okay they are equal since since it's a regular hexagon we can say they are equal if it's not a regular hexagon then it will not be equal why because interior angles will be different if it's not a regular hexagon then the exterior angles will also differ okay now let's see the third question what is the measure of each exterior angle you need to see the measure of each exterior angle okay so that is also very easy that is 
you know that sum of the measures of all the exterior angle is equal to what 360 degree isn't it sum of the measures of all the exterior angle is equal to 360 degree and how many exterior angle is there 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 exterior angles are there so in order to get the measure of one exterior angle what you have to do just divide this 360 by 6 okay if you divide 360 by 6 then you will get the answer okay so 6 6 are 36 0 okay so answer will be 60 okay 60 degree that will be the measure of each exterior angle in this case third question a third question a is 60 degree now what about b what is b what is the measure of interior angle okay so in order to get the measure of interior angle it's very easy when you are observing this figure i have as i have already told you can see that angle a and angle x forms a linear pair okay that is angle a is here and angle X is here both are lying on the same line so you can say that both of them form a linear pair so that angle A plus X will be equal to 180 degree okay since they form a linear pair so if you know the measurement of X then you can find A A plus what is X X we have already found out as 60 degree that is we have found that measure of each exterior angle is 60 degree so x will be 60 degree so a plus 60 degree will be 180 degree so you can tell that a will be equal to what 180 minus 60 what is 180 minus 60 it's 120 degree okay so a will be equal to 120 degree understand that is a means what interior angle okay so you can tell that interior angle will be equal to 120 degree understand why you are able to subtract this 60 from 180 because both a interior and exterior angle forms a linear pair okay that is the case with everything here also you can say that a and y forms a linear pair here a and z forms a linear pair here p and a here q and a here a and r okay so that you will get the measure of interior angle as simply subtracting this exterior angle from 180 degree. Understand? Now the fourth question is that repeat this activity for the cases of a regular octagon. Regular octagon means what? So let's draw a regular octagon and mark its exterior angle, interior angle and all. So I have marked the exterior angles. Now what is the first question? First question is that what is the sum of the measures of its exterior angle? Sum of the measures of its exterior angle means what? Let it be any polygon. Sum of the measures of its exterior angle will be 360 degrees. Okay, so the answer for the first question is 360 degree. Now is x equals y? That means what is the exterior angles equal in this case? So in this case also you can see that interior angles are all equal which is equal to p here. Okay. That means since it's a regular octagon, interior angles will be equal. Since the interior angles are equal, you can tell that exterior angles will be also equal. Why? In each case, you can see that in each vertex, it forms a linear pair. If you are considering this vertex, then here also P and E will form a linear pair. If you are considering this vertex, then here also P and Z will form a linear pair. So, in all the cases, uh, interior angle is P. So, the other angle will be also equal. Because the other angle, you can simply find by 180 minus interior angle. Okay. Then, in all the cases, it will be 180 minus P here. Okay. So, that's why exterior angles will be equal. Now, the third question. What is the measure of each exterior angle? So, in order to find the measure of each exterior, you know that sum of the measures of all exterior angle is what? 360 degree. And how many exterior angles are here? Here there are 8 exterior angles. Okay. So, if you divide 360 by 8, then you will get it as 45 degree which is the measure of each exterior angle. Okay. Then you will get the measure of each exterior angle as 45 degree why you are dividing here by 8 since 8 exterior angles are there you are dividing the total by 8 okay what about the second question measure of each interior angle 
How will you find the measure of interior angle? In order to find the measure of interior angle, you need to just subtract exterior angle from 180 degree. 180 degree minus exterior angle will give what interior angle which is equal to what 180 degree minus what is the exterior angle here 45 degree okay 180 degree minus 45 degree you will get the measure of interior angle which is equal to 135 degree okay so you will get the measure of each each interior angle as what 135 degree okay now you can do the same for a 20 gun okay 20 gun means first answer will be the same and second answer will be the same what about the third question third question instead of dividing it by 8 you need to just divide it by 12 okay for the third question for 20 gun 360 divided by 20 will give the answer for exterior angle now what about the interior angle for finding the interior angle you need to just subtract what 180 minus this answer will give what the measure of interior angle okay understand so this is the answer for try this page 23 i hope you understood this question okay so that's all thank you